Hi, Reading Day. You can go ahead and put up your instruments real quick. I appreciate your guys' hard work. So today we're going to talk about the new thing that we're going to do, which is analyzing the music to make it better for sight reading. I know this sounds like it won't be fun, but I think it'll be a good experience for us all. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about why sight reading is important. If you think about it, in every aspect of life, we're going to get new music, and you have to be able to read it. And if you can't read it, how are you ever going to be able to play it? And so, even if you're in a studio musicianship life, so think of Star Trek as like the example, which is the thing we listen to right at the beginning of class. Those musicians got into that classroom and read it once, and then it was perfect, because it had to be perfect. And so that's kind of where we're at with sight reading. So, let's talk about STAR. So STAR is an acronym that are things we need to be looking for when we start to sight read. So, what do you think S could stand for? Well, I guess some volunteers, what do you think S could stand for? What are some things important about sight reading that start with an S? Sounds. Sounds. Let's write that down. It's a little too big for this. Sounds. Good. What's another one? Aaron. Signs. Signs. Good. What's another one, Noah? Uh, signatures. Signature. Good. What's another one, Aaron? Uh, uh, sample. Sample. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now let's talk about T. What could T stand for? Aaron. Tune. Tune. Good. No. Uh, time. Time. Good. Aaron. Tone. Tone. Good. Anybody got another one that's pretty important? Tempo. Tempo. Good one. Okay, let's move on. What about A? What could A stand for? Accents. Accents. Good. Aaron, what could A stand for? Accidentals. Accidentals. Those are important. No, what else could A stand for? Hmm. Think hard. What are, what are some things in music that we deal with all the time, every time we play, especially when there's not a slur. Articulation. Articulations. Good. Aaron, what else could we do with A? A, like the note. A, yeah, like a concert A. That's what we tune to, right? Yeah. Good. All right, so there's one more letter. Let's see if we can push through. This last letter, what could that stand for? Aaron. Right. Right. Yeah, because we got to play it right. Noah. <laughs> uh, repeat. Repeat. Good. Aaron, what about another one? Rest. Rest. Those are important. Noah, we got one more on R. Uh, rhythm. Rhythm. Good. And those are really important things that we're looking at when we look at sight reading. So, now, what's more important though is that we get the correct answer to the best way to read. So let's go through here and let's think. Let's, let's, let's knock out some that are probably not right. So what about S? What could we knock out that's probably not right? Sample. Sample. Good. What about another one? Um, sounds. Sounds. OK, between signs and signature, which one do we think it is? Um, probably signature. Signature. Good. So we're going to put an X by that one. OK, what about this next one? Tune, time, tone, or tempo? Tune. What is the most important of those? Important. Tuning is important, but when you're sight reading, that should come more naturally. So that's more assumed. This is stuff when we're analyzing music. So we don't analyze for intonation as much. What do you need to know when you see a piece? The tempo. The tempo. Good. Okay, and what about the next one? This is a hard one. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and take the lead on this one. With this one, every single one of those could be right. But what we're going to focus on is accidentals. Because if you, you can play a wrong accent and a wrong articulation, and it might get by, but if you play a wrong note, everybody will know. OK, so let's talk about this next one. While it's really important to play it right, I don't think that's the right answer. Thinking about repeats, not all music has repeats. So then we got rest and rhythm. What do you think is more important? I think rhythm is kind of inclusive with rest. So it's kind of both of them.
That's a great answer because we see rests in rhythm, right? So there we go. So we've got signature, tempo, accidentals, and rhythm. So that's how we apply star to that. So now that we've been doing it, can I get a volunteer to come and do your best to apply star? Noah, why don't you come up here and do that? So you can take the marker and go ahead and circle what you think S. What does S stand for again? Signature. Signature. So circle what the best thing you think it would be the signature. Okay, and now what does T stand for? Tempo. So circle anything that has to do with tempo. Okay, and then what's the A stand for? Articulate no. Aaron, why don't you help him out? It's accidentals. Accidentals. All right. Can you find any accidentals in there? No. No. Okay. So let's move on. Now rhythm. So with rhythm, you want to circle what you think is the hardest rhythm that you really want to learn before you sit down and try to read the piece. Okay. Good. All right. I'm going to give no give me a good volunteer. Okay, now, I need a volunteer from the rest of the class. Anybody, anybody, any, okay, Aaron, why don't you come ahead? You're gonna critique what, what he did. So, come up here, and I'll give you the marker, but first we're gonna, you can, yeah, you can take that one. And what we'll do is, so first thing with S, so what did he circle for S? He circled the, uh, key signature. Signature. So is there another signature that we should be worried about? Yes, there what is. What is that? This one right here. The 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. So you Yes, go ahead and circle that. So we're partially right. Okay? So we got the key signature, but it's also important to know the time signature. Okay, so now, what was the second one? What does T stand for? Uh, tempo. Tempo. So mm -hmm. what, what did he circle for tempo? He circled the words that describe the tempo. What are those words? Moderato expressivo. Okay, good. So that's good because that's how fast we're going to play. Mm -hmm. Did he miss anything? Do you think that's the best thing to circle? Um, I think it's pretty good for tempo. There's also this over here. Oh, what does that mean? This means retardando. And what does retardando mean? That means that you slow down. So is that a type of tempo? Is it a tempo marking? I think so, yeah. Yeah, because it d dictates how fast or slow we're going to play it. Even if it's later in the piece, it's still important that we dictate that. Okay, good. So, now, uh, accidentals. Did he miss any accidentals that you see? Um, I don't think so. Okay, good. Good job, Norma. That was good. You got There were actually no accidentals in this piece. So, the last thing he did was rhythm. Mm -hmm. So, do you think he circled the hardest rhythm? Um, maybe in his... Uh, opinion. Okay, so yes. what, in your opinion, what would be the hardest for them? I would say, I have a hard time with dots, so I would say it's probably this one or this one for me. Okay, so getting off of the beat. Yeah. Okay, and so while that's not necessarily the hardest for them, in anybody's perspective, it just depends on what you struggle with personally as a musician. So I really appreciate you having a different opinion on that. Really good job, Aaron. I really appreciate you critiquing that. Okay, so. In lieu of time, we're gonna we're gonna skip these next couple ones, and we're gonna go straight to our written activity. So, I'm gonna turn the screen off. And now, so I'm gonna hand out these to different groups, and I want you guys to take this music, and you guys are gonna apply your concept of star to it together, because you guys are the the trumpet clarinet duo that you know works so well at all kinds of music. And so you guys will take a look at this first piece. And I want you to apply star to it. And then when you're done, you let me know and I'm going to come check it, okay? okay. And I'm going to go work with uh, Miguel back there. Um, okay, so I'll write it down because I forget. Star. Okay, so S was... Signatures. Okay, so that would be... Yeah. Wait, which one are we doing in the top one? Yeah, okay. so we need to circle the key signature. Mm -hmm. And then you said the time signature. Yeah. And then T was t uh, tem tempo. tempo, yeah, not time. Um, so that would be that one. Uh, 
There's not a retard on dough unless it, I can't see it. I don't think there is. Okay. So just, oh, also the words, I guess, the words and the number. And for um, accidentals. Um, oh, goodness, this is going to be forever. The art and accidentals. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's the, it's the same one alive, actually, I think. There's one. There's one. There's one. And rhythm. Oh, oh. Uh, well, we'll have different opinions, so you mark your pink. I think, and I think this kind of rhythm is hard. Yeah. I think uh, this one's pretty hard, so I have to try.